Hi, this is Andrew again. Today I'm showing you how to download and install Android on your T-Mobile HD2. The version of Android I'm demonstrating is Subcraft 2.0 CM6. It was released on October 27th. This is the first time I'm installing this build because I wanted to walk through for this video and to show those of you who are still having trouble installing Android on your HD2. First thing you want to do is to go to, to this website right here. I will provide the, description, the link in the description. Now there are three versions of this build. First is the Dope Me. Second is the Minimal Hybrid. Third is the Sage in Mod stock. Now the version I'm going to be using is the Sage in Mod stock. Now to download any 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 of the versions you like or you want to try, here is the download links right here. Now, like I said, I'm using I'm going to be downloading this one, the, the stock 2.0 stock. Now you also have an option of downloading the one gig root FS right here. I suggest you do that um, if you want more space to be a little bit faster. I suggest you do. If if you don't if you don't feel to do it, you don't have to. But I already done loaded both files, so now I'm going to demonstrate how to basically install it. Now here are my files right here and the root FS. What I'm gonna do is extract extract the um the Android full I'm gonna extract it from the zip file that's in right now. <coughs> Open up that zip file. Now you see the README and the Android, but this is the one you're going to be using right here, the Android. This is the one you have to put on the root of your SD card. Now as you can see, there's already a root FS image in here, this image in here, but I'm not going to use this one. What I'm going to do is delete that, because I think that one is only only two two hundred and something megabytes I want the one gig so I delete that and I want to copy the one gig and paste it in this folder now I will copy the folder the Android folder over to to the root of my SD card which is right here just here and I'm not putting it in any folder or anything just to the root <coughs> just give it a minute okay. now it's in here back again now after you finish copying all the files over on your SD card you want to pop your SD card back into your HD2 now I'm using a, a, a Desire HD inspired custom ROM the first thing you want to do is to navigate to your SD card which I already did that <coughs> already like you might end up here is with your SD card. Now let's look for the folder with Android. And there it is. Now the first thing you want to do is long is is a tap on clear it. EXE is not supposed to do anything. It is already doing what it's supposed to do, that that's to enable sound in the Android. And the, the, there is a dual boot application which automatically launches both the Clarit and the Herit EXE 
but I don't have that currently installed. Now they hit the Harrier EXE. <coughs> and then wait for it to um, do its thing. So here we go. That took about six minutes, six six or seven minutes to um to complete that section. There is this image in now. That nice sexy logo. It's a bit bright here. I will lower the light after. Basically, you, you set everything up. It's telling you change the language, stuff like that. And see, there's an English United States here. <coughs> here it is, English United States. And tap here and learn how to use the HD2. You really don't need to. If you if you use HD2 before, you will know how to use that. So I'm just going to skip this. Obviously, you do not use HD2. Now it's asking you to set up your Google account, which I will do that right now. And actually, I'm going to skip that right now. That time zone is New York. Eastern Eastern time. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's correct. Two eleven. Um, no twenty four hours. Date format. It's actually, it's actually correct. <coughs> Mathematically, Mathematically kind of hard to do that and next and there you go now I will go and now it seems that the buttons on this one doesn't illuminate it doesn't light up when you touch them so I'm going to go here to <laughs> now you should be able to see everything clear and not too bright. There it is. Now the button is on the when I press it. So. the phone button, try the home button, so it seems that the home button here doesn't um, bring up the different screens, which you usually do when you press it, so now I'm going to do Try with the finger to pinch the zoom and see if it um, brings up the different screens. Actually, it does work. <coughs> and uh, let's try music. Let's try one for my favorite artist. Right, Cartel. 
I left it dirty right there. Thank you. 